Hi, first graders. So today, our focus question is, how can we show and solve addition number sentences? And in order to answer this question, today's objective is going to be, I can use counting on and the make it 10 strategy when adding across a 10. Now, today, boys and girls, I need you to use your hundredths chart and your base 10 blocks in order for us to work with the counting on and the make it 10 strategy. Let's start with our hundreds chart. And I absolutely love our hundreds chart, boys and girls, because the hundreds charts have so many numbers and so many patterns, and we can use it in adding and subtracting. And today I'm gonna show you how to use this chart to help us count on in order to find the whole, which means we're going to be adding two parts today. So in front of you, you have 27 plus four equals blank. I always love to start with the big number. And if you look for the big number, which is the number 27, it is located right here inside my little red square. Now that I have found my number 27, I'm going to add four more. And I am not going to start from the number one. I'm actually going to start from my number 27 and count on four spaces until I find the missing number that belongs in this blank. So let's get started. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So I hopped over four times and I got to the number 31. Now, it's very important to notice that I did not count the number 27 as one. I started from 27 and counted one space, another space, another space, and another space to count my four. So my 27 plus four equals 31. So that is our counting on strategy. We start from the big one and find the whole. Now let's use the number chart again, but this time we're gonna make the 10 strategy. And we're still gonna use 27 plus four. Again, I'm going to start from the big number 27. And I know 27 is right here. Now for the make 10 strategy, the idea is for you to figure out how many more you need to get to the next 10. And in this chart, all the 10s are on our last row. So I wanna see how many more I need to get to the next 10. And from the green rectangle, I notice there are three more spaces needed to get to the number 30. So I know 27 plus three more spaces is 30. But I know I have four as my part, so I wanna make sure I continue adding what I need. So one more space, because three and one more space is going to be my four, comes out to 30 plus one is 31. So that means 27 plus four equals 31. So do you see how I took 27, figured out how many spaces to the next 10, and then kept going the needed spaces. Good, this is the make 10 strategy. Let's try counting on and make it 10 once again. This time, we're gonna use base 10 blocks. And the base 10 blocks are the stick that are, that are long and represent a 10. And then the ones are the unifix cubes that represent one. So for this one, we're gonna do 17 plus five. 
I know 17 is my big number, so I'm going to start from 17. And in the number 17, I see 110 and 7 ones. So I'm going to build 110 and 7 ones to show the number 17. Then I'm going to add 5 more for my second add-in because it's not enough to make another 10. We just have 5 by his lonesome. So now I'm ready to count. I'm going to use the counting on strategy, but I'm not going to start from one. Counting on means I have to start from the big number. So I already know that this set of objects is 17. So I'm going to start at 17 and count the rest after 17. Ready? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. I stopped at the last cube and I got the number 22. So that means 17 plus 5 equals 22. Do you notice that I did not start from the first object? I started from the first set of objects, the number 17, and hopped over counting on to the, to the last number. Now, let's continue again using 17 plus 5, but this time we're going to do the make 10 strategy. And in the make 10 strategy, I want to do what I did in the hundreds chart. Try to find the next 10 within my numbers. So first thing I have to do is build the number 17, which I did right in front. I used my 10 and seven more made 17. I'm going to add five more, but this time I'm gonna continue using it until I fill the next row, okay? So I added five more cubes to this set. Now looking at the objects, what do you notice happened after my 17? Yep, I was able to fill it up with three more cubes, causing this 17 to go to the next 10. And the next 10 after 17 made one 10 here, another 10 here, which means 17 plus three more cubes equals 20. Now that I count it to 20, I'm going to count the rest, which are the two cubes left at the bottom. So 20 plus two more cubes equals 22, which in conclusion means 17 plus five equals 22. Did you notice how I used the 17 and finished off the row with the number five to build the next 10. Now, boys and girls, I know this is a lot of work, but I have faith in you. Today, you've learned how to count on from the big number to figure out the whole. And also you use the make 10 strategy to figure out the next 10 to help you figure out the whole. I hope both these strategies are helpful and try it out yourself. I'll see you in the next one.